Hey everyone, Richie here. Today we're going to be talking about installing Raspberry Pi, the operating system, directly onto your Raspberry Pi using an SD card. The program you're going to want to look for is Raspberry Pi Imager. So I'm using version 1.7.2. Uh, newer versions, this could change in the future. It's very simple to get started. Uh, once you get this installed on your computer, uh, you're going to go ahead and collect or click to select an operating system. Inside here, you have the standard Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. Uh, if you have a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, I'm, I've been moving my stuff over to 64-bit, which will take a, advantage of the newer chip. Uh, how you would get there is by going to the Raspberry Pi OS Other. You can also choose a light version if you have a Raspberry Pi Zero or you have something like that. These are some other options where you have a full option. Uh, the full is gonna give you desktop and some recommended programs installed automatically. You can see here, this is the 64-bit if you wanna go in that direction. Uh, there's also some legacy ones down here. It's really up to you if you wanna stick with their operating system. You can also choose a couple of major other operating systems to run on your computer. You can run uh, Ubuntu here. They have the desktop, server, and core images. Then inside, when you scroll down a little bit more, uh, the media player, you can do um, any of these, like a Kodi environment if you want to set up video streaming and things in the house. Emulation, a lot of people are going to see if you do some searches for this RetroPie, and you can install that directly using this program. And, and then there's just some other ones down here. You can also format your card if you want to do your own installation. If you've downloaded a custom image, there are some for RetroPie and other ones out there floating around where things are already set up. And you could select that here. But once you decide what you want to run, so we're just going to kick the standard for now, the 32-bit. Um, it, will, it will select that here. I have an SD card, a micro SD card put in here. Uh, it's just a generic mounted through like a USB adapter that I have. Uh, it's going to give me, it's like a 64 gigabyte card. Let's go ahead and select that. And now we're able to just write. So there is a setting option down here. Uh, you can install this remotely using like SSH and stuff to your Raspberry Pi directly. Uh, all you're going to do, very simple, get the operating system. You'd write it here. It'll give you a warning that everything's going to be erased. Click yes. It will prepare to write it. And then it will go ahead and write it to the card. You take the card out of your computer, put it directly into your Raspberry Pi, connect the HDMI cable to it so that you have some output and put in some power and it will automatically boot and in, into your operating system. So that's it for this video. If you want to see some more tips for Raspberry Pi and some other programming stuff, Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to keep them short to the point, and we'll be looking at the next part of the setup next time. So, thanks.